Hi, I'm Bob Dees, uh, Major General U.S. Army, retired. Uh, I come to you today to really tell you what's happened to me uh, related to my heart and my life experience. Uh, growing up as an infantry officer in the Army and then being involved in business and other endeavors, uh, I, I, I have found that uh, physical fitness is critical to uh, everything I do. It was a life-death uh, matter in, in the military, uh, as you would understand. So uh, I was quite surprised as I went through um, some medical testing and they discovered that I had a, a, a hole in my heart, a PFO as it's called, and uh, after consulting with people in Round Rock, Texas, my cardiologist, and after consulting with uh, uh, respected medical experts, uh, I, I re received the consensus that I ought to have this uh, defect in my heart uh, repaired. So then the question became not whether to have it repaired or not, but in fact to uh, what technique should be best used. And so I started researching it. There's an expression we use in the military that says threat clears a man's head. And so when you find out you have a hole in your heart and when the cardiologists are telling you you ought to have it fixed, it does clear your head and so all of a sudden you become a, a very ardent student of the various ways to repair this heart. I discovered that the prevailing uh, technique was this thing uh, called an umbrella technique. You can see it here. I don't know if it shows up on the camera, but it's, it's literally an umbrella and it goes through the hole in your heart and it and leaves an umbrella device uh, stretched across the hole on both the left and right sides of your heart. Uh, and uh, I was uh, a little, uh, I found that to be a little daunting to put this large of a device in your heart and recognize that your heart keeps pumping and moving against it. So I, uh, I wanted, that was perhaps the most prevailing technique in the United States and I wanted to investigate further. As I investigated, I, I came across a heart stitch and also uh, using the technology that's a noble stitch. And in the course of that, uh, I became fascinated because I found a technology that would, in very simple terms, uh, literally stitch up the hole in the heart, leaving very little thing behind, not uh, the umbrella device I showed you, but the alternative was uh, this little suture. It looks like about... Uh, six or eight pound test uh, from my fishing experience with a tiny little plastic cap on the end of it that, uh, cl that uh, keeps the knot closed together. It's on the right side of the heart, the safe side of the heart, and that's the only thing that is left remaining after the procedure. So I had the comparison of this big umbrella device and the comparison of this tiny fishing line suture, uh, and really there was no decision after I learned both of the technologies. I went out to California, in fact, and consulted with Professor Nobles. Uh, he allowed me to operate uh, using the technology on some heart tissue so that I saw exactly how it worked. I gained new confidence in it. And then uh, it was a question of, okay, uh, who would do this procedure? Uh, he, I asked him who were the best cardiologists that uh, performed this technique in the world. And he identified literally two people, primarily uh, Dr. Mullen in England and Dr. Horst Sievert in Germany. My wife and I have always had fondness for Germany. We've uh, lived there in about three different locations in Germany, military service. That's where our last assignment was in Heidelberg, Germany. So uh, I was on the operating table a total of 30 to 40 minutes, but the actual procedure lasted about 12 minutes. And the fun for me was that not only uh, was I going to have this procedure performed and correct the defect in my heart, but I was able to watch it. And as I watched it, uh, it was amazing to see the same technology that I had placed hands on and learned to use was being used on me. And in a 12-minute operation, it went in, it closed the, heart, the hole in my heart, it left that tiny suture, and then they came out. And less than 10 hours later, I was walking out of that hospital uh, onto the streets of Frankfurt, uh, dragging my own bag back to the guest house, and then my wife and I spent the next couple of days out touring Frankfurt, Germany. Uh, and uh, it was like, uh, I don't want to say it was a honeymoon experience because you're always serious when they're, they're operating on your heart, but to contrast that experience with what it might have been in, in the conventional way was like uh, night and day, and I was so pleased with what the technology did. I was pleased with Professor Nobles and the, the way he consulted with me on this. 
certainly pleased with the skill of the doctors, and in this case, Horst Sievert. Uh, so overall, is a tremendous outcome. And to wrap this, I would simply say, uh, I now have peace of mind. I now exercise vigorously. I now know that the, the defect in my heart that could have led to other complications is uh, completely uh, removed. And so I'm good to go. Back on, uh, if I'm a good Army airborne soldier, I've jumped out a lot of perfectly good airplanes. And now I'm, I'm good. I, I'm ready to go jump out of more airplanes, ready to go do whatever. Um, my uh, life uh, will require in the future. So thanks so much.